How's it going folks? Tony Sanchez here. I just wanted to make a quick video regarding uh, my bug out bag that I've been building for about six months now. Uh, I got into prepping, I guess you could say. I'm, I'm definitely an amateur beginner. Uh, so, you know, take it easy on me. I know there's going to be critiques out there, but uh, this is something I just got into about six months ago. So I kind of want to put a, a video together showing what I, what I do have. Uh, discuss the things that I know that I'm missing, that I, that I know that I need to put into my bag. And uh, also, you know, take some critique in. Uh, I think the main critique that, I, that I'm looking for is I kind of want to know um, how to organize my bag. Like if you see something that you think should go in one of my packs, like for example, my fire kit, uh, by all means, let me know. Or if you think that I should have, you know, this in this pocket instead, or this with these items, by all means, please let me know. Like, like I said, I am a beginner. I'm not trying to uh, pose like an expert that I've been doing this forever and so on. Uh, so... I'm open to suggestions for sure. Uh, like I said, I started doing this. Uh, I, I love YouTube. YouTube is one of my one of my favorite platforms. Uh, I mean, I, I tell everybody, you know, they're like, "Oh, what, what did you learn?" That I'm always like, "YouTube University." You know, uh, you, you can learn a lot of stuff on YouTube. And one of the things I was looking into was it started a while back uh, last year when I started looking into uh, prepping for a nuclear disaster because obviously we had the North, North Korea scare and. Uh, so I thought it was important to actually know and learn about, you know, thermonuclear weapons and uh, nuclear weapons in general and and, and how to uh, prepare for those and, and what to do in an event that the United States was uh, attacked when, the, when if, if, if there was a nuclear attack on our U.S. soil. So uh, obviously, you know, as you watch videos, suggested videos come up and they were uh, prepping videos. This is about six months ago, seven months ago. So I started watching those and uh, here I am. I started adding little things here and there. Uh, I'm part of a few prepper groups, and I'm hoping to definitely expand my bag. Uh, I know I'm going to catch heat because my bag is, is, is camo. I didn't go for the camo look just because uh, it's you know tactical or anything like that. I, I went more for it just because I use it, uh, and, and, and I'm not a, uh, this, this company doesn't, doesn't uh, what is it called? They don't support me or whatever. They're called sportsmansguide.com. That's that's the website that I use for a lot of stuff that I get. And this backpack happened to be on there, and I think it was like 25, 30 bucks. It happened to be camo, and I picked it up. I watched in a later video. I'm, I'm not sponsored by them. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, I watched in a later video how that's a bad idea, and now I know. So when the opportunity comes up and I get the necessities, like I still need a, a, a stainless steel thermal, uh, thermos, stuff like that. There's a few things that I'm missing. When I get those necessities, I, I do plan on upgrading my bag to probably like a you know, basic black bag, something more durable. Uh, I'd love a Max Edition, something like that. So without further ado, let me go ahead and show you what I've got here. <clears throat> uh, right off the bat, I've got this little EDC that I've been working on. There's not really much to it. I'm not even going to uh, get into it. But it's, yeah, I've got like a little boo-boo kit in here. Um, wind, winding flashlight, blah, blah, blah. A couple other things. This is this is something I'm, I'm currently building still. Like this is like big time, not even close to being done. So I'll slide that on over here. <clears throat> and here I kind of got my, uh, my what, what I like to call my bug out shelf. Um, this is the room that we would come into if we had to, we're in Texas, we're, we're in Dallas, Texas. So if a tornado were to take place, this is where we would come right here. Uh, it's in the center of the house, away from windows, away from heavy stuff. Uh, so this is where I keep all my, my prepping stuff. So uh, you'll see like, you know, I have like extra light sticks, which I'll disperse in my, bug out bag and you know one or two of my EDC extra paracord some rope uh, I've got lots of hand warmers I think I got these I think for like six bucks for like 20 of them or 25 uh, keep an extra food ration this uh, this is here as extra because I opened it out to test it uh, I, I like to test everything I get Oof. make sure you have anti-diarrhea in your in your first aid kit if you have a uh, SOS, like lifeboat type of food, trust me on that. Tasty. They don't taste bad. They taste like cookies, but uh, I got a little first aid kit I picked up for my electric company. I, I gathered some points with them for uh, being a loyal customer. They had this cool little kit. It's got lots of band-aids in it. Uh, it's got a couple cold compresses, a little first aid book. Uh, it's got a cheap plastic carabiner. I don't know what the point of that is. Some stainless steel tweezers. Uh, they actually got a, a lot of gauze and a lot of big gauze. These are all these are four by fours in the back. Um, so they got lots of gauze in there. So that's what I loved about this 
this first aid kit. This is pretty much my home first aid kit. But uh, I've got a five uh, five by nine ab abdominal pad right here. Uh, pretty good little first aid kit to be honest with you. For you know, well, I mean, I got it for free because I place built up. But I pretty much keep this for my home first aid kit. Uh, I've got this little bag that I kept here just because. It was something that was laying around the house, and I figured, you know, this is something I could throw in the pack. Maybe I can use it to, you know, filter water, you know, gather edibles, stuff like that. <clears throat> I keep extra tea lights here. Like I said, we had a tornado scare a couple months ago, so I um, had those there ready to go. A little GoPro camera I'd probably throw in a pack. I mean, if, if, if I've got somewhere to go, whether it's bugging out or we're going out for the weekend, you know, staying away for the weekend or... I'm going to be gone for a few hours or whatever it is. This should be pretty much the only place I have to come to is this shelf. So I'll, I'll, I'll grab what I need and throw it in a bag if it's not there. So, <clears throat> But getting into the main thing, which is this bag. And then this is another little bag. Keep around. This is like if I'm going somewhere for a few few hours. I'll just kind of you know, throw my EDC in there, my wallet, phone, flashlight, pen, knife, stuff like that. It's just easy to lug around. This is the spot where I come get everything put together. So uh, right off the bat on my pack, um, I've got this, which I don't, this, it's not gonna stay here. This is just what I have for right now. But this is my fire kit. Uh, let me get this one done. Let's see what you guys can see. Okay, y'all can see right in the middle. Uh, nothing too fancy. I got this. It's a, obviously a Max Edition knockoff. But Ooh. there goes my storm matches. But in here, I'll keep a few different ways to start fire. Like for example, I got the stormproof matches. Uh, keep a lighter in there, ferro rod with a striker and a uh, uh, gasoline matches or gasoline match, whatever. It's pretty cool. They were cheap, so I've got four ways to start fire. <clears throat> and then tucked in here, I'll kind of keep a. Uh, some cotton balls and Vaseline. That's that's thanks to Sensible Prepper right there. I got that from him. And also dryer lint uh, works very well. And then these are two things I have practice with, and uh, they really do fire up really good. They'll, they'll, the the dryer lint will go out pretty quick, uh, definitely faster than the Vaseline cotton balls. So, but it does light up like it's no one's business. And I'll keep like a little. Pencil sharpener here to get like wood shaving and stuff like that. Get some decent little tinder going. So that's all I keep in there. I'll keep a little survival blanket, uh, some aqua tabs, just a couple little extra essentials. Uh, I mean, this is kind of the bag that I I kind of figured. Uh, it is my my fire making uh, pack, but I could also just grab this if I had to grab anything and leave everything behind. Uh, I'd want to probably grab this. So that's kind of what what I'm building this as. So. Mainly a fire starter kit. I uh, do need to get a knife put in here. A few more other things. I got a little survival blanket. Some aqua tabs for uh, water. I've got a way to start a fire and get food and, and, and purify water also. So that's where I stand as far as that goes. Uh, now this bag pretty much, I've got it set up to be a good uh, 72 hour bag. And right on the outside, uh, I've got these little flashlights. <clears throat> they are not expensive. Uh, Kutek, I believe, is the name. They're cheap. Uh, I'm, 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 like I said, I'm just beginning. Um, but what I do like about them is they only take one AAA battery. So they do last a, a pretty decent amount of time. Like I told you guys, what all can you see? Okay. Uh, like I was saying, I'm, 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 a, I'm, I'm a beginner. I do want an upgraded flashlight. I want a nice old light or, you know, stream light, something like that. I want a better knife. So these are the things that I that I could get for right now to put in my pack. Uh, like I said, I think I spent 15 bucks and I got five pack of these. <laughs> so that's what I can get right now. So that, that's what I have. So I know that there's better flashlights. I plan on having one as soon as I get necessities out of the way. Uh, here I've got my little stove. Uh, it's pretty easy setup. I mean, I think this thing was like five bucks, so. Just put that like that. Put that over it. It's a little janky, but it works. So, you don't see that. 
kind of. <clears throat> but yeah, for five bucks, I mean, it came with uh, how many sticks we got here? 40 sticks. And it's actually got 38 because I've lit up two because I wanted to see how they work. Uh, so, and they actually burn for, I think, about a good three minutes. So it'll get your fire going for you to put wood and stuff on it. And then I've got pretty much uh, two camp little stoves. <clears throat> One's more like a skillet, you know, cooking, whatever. Real simple, nothing fancy. I think I got these for like eight bucks or something. And the other one's pretty much a pot. It's got uh, measurements and stuff inside. I'm not even going to worry about getting it out. Let me try to get this back in there. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, as far as the rest on my bag, on the outside, I've got a couple carabiners, 160 pound test. Um, they lock, so that's pretty cool. Um, got this little survival bracelet on the outside. This is something, obviously, if I had to grab my bag, I'd probably just throw this on, but uh, not a bad little piece. It's got a little compass, uh, and for something that I think was like 10 bucks, it actually works pretty decent. You got to kind of tap the compass a little bit, but it will give you accurate uh, direction. It's got a little whistle on it, so it doesn't work too bad. It's got a little fire starter on there. Takes a little bit of getting going, but there we go. It does work though. And I think it's got about 10 feet of paracord on there. I'm not sure if it's 550 or not, but that's something I'll keep on the outside of the pack. Um, I've also got, like I said, I got some carabiners on the back side of my pack. I've got a few walkie talkies, you know, to converse with the person that I'm with. Um, the, on the back bag, I do want to find a better place to do this. I've heard of the Molly webbing or whatever. I don't know how to do that though. So I got to, I got to learn that. But this is a Mossy Oak Overwatch. So not a bad little, little rig. Um, I mean, honestly, I, I, tr I trust it for 72 hours, you know, and even maybe a little longer than a week. So it's a starter. It's what I got. Also in the back, I keep uh, some eight inch zip ties. These are something that I've uh, read come in handy big time. So those right there will help a lot of stuff out. All right, I'm gonna try to make this a little bit quicker. Try to make this a little bit quicker over here. All right, get into the first zipper. I kind of keep uh, things that are that are useful, that I can access fast. I've got some 550 paracord right here. I put it in a 20 ounce water bottle. It's probably about 75 feet because uh, I had 100 feet and I used pretty much all of it to put in here. So I've got that. I've got the Life Straw. I've heard really good things about this. Uh, it is something I'd like to upgrade though because this only filters I think around 300 gallons. So I really want to get that uh, Mini Sawyer also keep some Gorilla Tape wrapped on a card. So that's another thing I have in there. It's a pretty good amount too. As well as a pen and a right in the rain pad. Keep that in that first pack. And a wind crank radio. It's got your weather band and all that good stuff. At 7 p.m. Uh, AM, FM. Got a little decent little flashlight, nothing too fancy. Winds up, so uh, it's definitely low maintenance, not much you have to worry about. Also takes solar power, and it's got a place to charge your phone, whether it's uh, Apple or Android. So definitely like this little thing. Actually, like I said, when we had the uh, tornado scare a couple months ago, I actually had to bust it out for the weather radio in case electricity went out. Then here on this top pack, I kind of keep a um, few hygiene things like some toothpaste, toothbrush. I'll uh, keep some tissue, toilet tissue. And I'll keep a few of these wet wipes, which actually I need to get. I mean, guys, I love free stuff, first off. And you can go to just about any restaurant and grab a handful of these and you're straight. So that's one thing I keep in there. Another thing, I mean, I, I like my food season, so if it came to down to the point to where 
uh, it was longer than three days and I actually had to, you know, I exhausted the food that I have in my pack and I actually had to go hunt food. <clears throat> I'm pretty good at fishing. I love fishing. So if I had to resort to that and hunting and trapping and stuff like that, which I've practiced a little bit doing, I've got seasoning. <laughs> it's pretty much a morale booster, but this stuff, man, smells amazing. Yes, I've got a little bit of Lowry salt. I'm not going to give you my full recipe, but I've got some Lowry. If you, if, if you send me a message, I will. Got some Lowry salt, a little bit of cayenne pepper, and a few other things in here that uh, really set this off. So, a little morale booster right there. Moving on, the third out of four zippers. I've got where I keep pretty much my food and my first aid. Uh, so, in here, I've got the first aid pack. It's really simple. And I actually need to go through uh, both of these and kind of uh, level them out to, you, you know, where I need items more. Like, I think this is short on uh, gauze and stuff like that. So I kind of need to disperse the items between there. But <clears throat> I've got some pills here that I keep in here. Uh, kale pectate, ibuprofen, and acetaminophen. Uh, I'm sure that I'm going to get negative feedback about them being in Ziploc bags. But I was really just trying to take up uh, less space. I, I do have the, the expiration dates written on there. So I do know when they expire. Uh, it's got scissors, some little twe tweezers, saline solution. Uh, what I've added to the pack, I've thrown in some Gorilla Glue, um, some better uh, 3M tape right here, some better wrap. Uh, you've also got your, your ice compression, your cold compress, plenty of Band-Aids, eye patches, gauzes, all that good stuff. Uh, I do need to put some more antibacterial towelettes in here. Then you got this... Oh, you got this other zipper. It's got more gauze, latex gloves. So all, there's all kinds of stuff in there. So that's my little first aid kit. I think I might actually put that uh, because that first aid kit that, that's for the house has got a big old uh, abdominal bandage. I might throw that in in this one. <clears throat> also keep a tourniquet. Uh, it's pretty much a it's it's pretty much an off-brand cat tourniquet. I have practiced with this. I have used it on me and a friend. Uh, so it's really not that hard to use. So I've got that in there. I figured a good place for my N95 mask to be in there also. So um, you don't want to be without air. So if your air is contaminated, you want a way to address that. <clears throat> and as far as food, I just keep... <clears throat> I don't want to dig it out, but it's, it's another one of these. It's 3,600 calories, so... Uh, enough to sustain one person for three days for sure. Uh, keeps on five hour energy. It's a good morale booster. You know, keep you going for a little while. I don't drink much caffeine or coffee, so uh, this is probably pretty much two servings for me. And I'll keep a uh, simple a can of tuna and a can of sardines. Probably need to throw like a little bottle of Tabasco in there for that. And uh, well, I guess I need a can opener for the tuna. Either that, or I'll trade it out for one of the pop top ones that I have in my pantry. So that's what I got going for food. Um, I keep one of these in there. Not exactly sure why, it just seems like something that, that would come in handy. So I've got a few of these, I just threw one in there. Maybe for building shelter and stuff like that. Uh, it just made sense, so it, it, it's in there too with my pack. This is another thing I've seen laying around that I thought could come in handy. It's a little sewing kit. It's got various threads and needles. So, I mean, I know obviously those threads can come in handy for fishing and stuff like that. So, you know, I thought, I thought you know, it's got a little pair of scissors. So, might have to sew somebody up, you know. It's got various needles and stuff. So, I thought that would be a good uh, contribution to the pack. Another thing I had in there was chapstick. So I've got a little thing of chapstick. It's got a perfect pocket for it. Uh, chapstick, obviously, you can make candles out of. You use it on your lips. We're in Texas, so we just had three back-to-back -back 109 days. So chapstick definitely comes in handy. Uh, like I said, you can make fire with it, all that good stuff. So, But this I actually picked off uh, Amazon for 4 bucks. It's just a piece of stainless steel. It's got paracord on it. Uh, it's pretty pretty good tip. But off, I mean, obviously, it's it's a it's got a little fire starter in there also. So I mean, it throws out some pretty pretty decent flames. So 
Not too shabby for four bucks. Something I, you know, decided to throw in the pack. Ooh. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to kind of put stuff up as I go so I don't have a big mess to clean up. So that's out of that pack. Put that first aid back in there. A five hour energy, my tourniquet, N95 mask. And that seals that, that, that zipper up. All right, going on to the last zipper. <laughs> Last one, guys. Now, like I said, there is some stuff. There's things that I'm missing that I do want to get, uh, like a thermos, uh, some kind of stainless steel mug. Now, obviously, I, I know I've got the little pans, so I can definitely boil water and stuff in that. Uh, but I need some kind of drinking container that I obviously prefer to be stainless steel. I don't even think they, those are stainless steel. <clears throat> but in my backpack, I keep uh, gloves in the, in the last zipper. Keep about three of these, which are a little face mask. Obviously, these have lots of uses. You know, you filter water, gather stuff, cover your face, protect yourself, keep warm. So I've got those in there. I keep about four or five of these light sticks right here. And these little buggers right here actually will, they say eight hours, but I, I, I've tested and put one on. <clears throat> and it stayed on for every bit almost 24 hours pretty much maybe not as bright as initially but it stayed pretty bright like it was at first for a good 16 hours uh, like i said i am in texas so as far as building a shelter i think it'd be pretty simple i don't need much uh protections from the elements besides you know keeping the sun out of my face but i keep it simple i've got just a big orange tarp uh, i think this is yeah five feet by seven feet <clears throat> and it's got some stakes and that's another thing i want to upgrade is some better you know stainless steel stakes but this is what i have for a shelter for right now i also do have a bivy which is in my edc pack i don't even know what's in there i need to go ahead and put it in here but i do have a bivy so that's another piece that i have for my shelter and i do have a bunch of mylar blankets <clears throat> Which brings me to our next point. That's one thing I keep in there is uh, I've got five emergency survival blankets. So. Uh, got a nice little shemog. I've read these have several different uses. So <clears throat> I keep one of those in there. Obviously, you can makeshift a little bag to gather stuff with. Um, you know, put it around your face protect your face from debris or dust, anything like that. Tons of uses. Uh, that's pretty much it. The last piece that I have is this zipper back here. And I'll just kind of grab some of the stuff. It's just miscellaneous small things. Uh, I've got a little, little knife sharpener. So pops right out. It's the Smith's knife sharpener. It's got a coarse and a fine sharpener right here as well. Uh, I've got the rest of those uh, aqua tabs. These are obviously something I wouldn't lose and uh, use unless it was last resort. Uh, they've got a lot of something in it. I want to say it's maybe iodine, iodine, but it's something you definitely should use last resort. Like if you have no other way to purify water. Um, like I said, I've got the the thread and needle in my sewing kit. I've also got some little fishing kit. It's got various weights and hooks and stuff like that. Little swivels. I keep another one of those backup flashlights in here, those little small, cheap ones. Little Kutex. Uh, got seven AAA because everything I use is AAA. So I've got seven in there for right now. Keep them rubber band up so positive and negative don't touch and mess each other up. I've got a few of these. Uh, got about four of these candle lights in there. So that's another thing I have in there, some candle lights. Uh, got some of these uh, expanding cloths right here. Got about three of those in there. I've got a little mirror. It obviously has a few different uses. It's got a little stand on it. You can fold it up pretty good. It doesn't take up much space, and you can unfold that stand and let it you know, stand or whatever. So I've also got a little... Uh, I guess you'd call this like a survival necklace or something, you know? It's got a little cordage on there, cheap stuff, put around your neck. Um, it's got a little signal and mirror right there on the inside. 
waterproof. Put your matches and stuff in there. It's got a compass on top. Works pretty decent. <clears throat> Get your ass on there. And it's got a little piece right here so you can make sparks. Get your little fire going. It's got a little uh, kind of a shitty whistle, but I mean, it'll work. Someone should hear you if they're within 100 yards. And I think Also keep a little USB drive with all my uh, important documents and stuff on there. I keep copy of that stuff on there also. So that's pretty much it. That's 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 what I got. Um, like I said, guys. Like I said, guys. This is something I started doing uh, <clears throat> about six months ago. So. Came across some videos, try to prep for a nuclear tank, you know. Uh, hopefully nothing like that would ever happen, but it's obviously uh, good to be prepared. <clears throat> that led me to watch some prepping videos, and uh, the idea of being prepared is, is definitely very important. So uh, that that really hit home with me, and I thought, yeah, you know, if something ever did happen, you know, hopefully it didn't. But if it did, I want to make sure that I'm prepared to take care of me and my loved ones, so... Um, I know people are going to say, oh, you don't have this, you don't have that. And trust me, I know, and I get it, and I'm working on it, but uh, what I do have is definitely better than nothing. So uh, that's what that, that's the important thing about prepping is you're always constantly prepping. Uh, my next step is to, because, I mean, obviously, I'd, I'd rather bug in than bug out. So I plan on filling these top shelves up here with food and water and stuff like that, uh, stuff that I need to bug in, because I've got plenty of shelf space that goes around this whole closet. I mean, I've got a, just a closet full of space all kinds of shelves so but yeah that would be my next step <clears throat> like I said uh, I'm amateur beginner let me know if I've got stuff in the wrong place <clears throat> let me know what stuff I don't have which like like I said I know I need a, uh, a container to carry water like a thermos at least a stainless steel one uh, there's definitely a few things I'm missing I need a good knife I do have my pocket knife but it's part of my EDC and it's on my counter where I keep my wallet and everything else so but yeah guys let me know what you think uh i even keep another big knife up here and a little cheapo a little saw in it and stuff this one just stays on top of my closet but you know if we're bugging out no serious that's that is one of the things i'd grab just grab it off the shelf but well i, I guess that's pretty much it guys if, uh, if you have any questions ask me uh if you have you know some critique definitely let me know I, i'd love to hear it so this is Tony Sanchez. I'm signing out. You guys have a good day.